with some breaking news right now. A homeless man who allegedly attacked a bicyclist with a machete in Rancho Cordova is now in custody this morning. Rachel Wolf is live near where the attack happened at Zinfandel Drive with the latest on that this morning. Hey, Rachel. Good morning. The sheriff's office says that James Hall is being held without bail at this hour. He will be arraigned Friday, but at this point in time, a lot of people in this neighborhood breathing a sigh of relief after Mr. Hall was taken into custody last night about 1238 a.m. at Shasta Community Park. We we're told that he took public transportation down to that park. He was being surveilled by a gang detection unit, and that's when he was brought into custody. Not a whole lot of details about how he was taken into custody or the manner in which they came to find him, but they did say that he surrendered and, according to the sheriff's office, confessed to what happened. Now, we remember this story Monday night. Authorities say that James Hall attacked a 60-year-old man riding an electric bike in this neighborhood. They say the homeless man took off. He was on the lam. They were looking for him. The man fighting for his life in an area hospital, and his injuries are not going to be survivable, according to authorities. My understanding is that they have unsurvivable um, injuries, so um, that uh, it is going to be charged as, as a homicide. So again, at this hour, he is being charged with attempted murder. He'll be back in court on Friday. But because it is believed that the victim will not survive this, likely those charges will be increased. We're here at the school and the park where some of those belongings, including the machete, were reportedly found. He is known to law enforcement, but we're told that his record has nothing of this level. There will be heightened law enforcement, we're told, at the school. At this point in time, though, authorities telling us that the threat is gone. We don't know a motive in this, but again, that's all part of this ongoing investigation. Just a shocking incident that happened, and sadly, a man is clinging to life at this hour after an attack, a violent attack in this Rancho Cordova neighborhood. Shocking is a good way to describe it. Rachel, thank you.